Hello again, friends. Today, we are going to do some deep cleaning in our toy room to get it all ready for Christmas decorating. We also have some homeschool time and some cooking, so let's get started. Right now, the kids are doing some really fun movement activities from the Good and the Beautiful YouTube channel. They had a lot of energy today, so we took a little break from math, and they're doing what we call getting their sillies out. How many did her family start with? Yeah. How many did they add in? And now how many do they have in the family? Right. So can you tell me what your equation is? Six plus two equals eight. Exactly. Okay, now I'm going to roll. What a, did nine. I get? a nine. All right. So put a nine here. Zero, four, blank, twelve. Hello, friends. Welcome back to our home. Thank you so much for being here with us again. Today, we are going to be doing some deep cleaning of the toy room. Our toy room gets used a lot. So it gets really, really messy. So we're going to go down there today, do some deep cleaning because I just want to get it organized and ready for Christmas. I know. I know it's early, but it's not early to me. I'm going to pull out my Christmas decorations next week. And so for me to be able to even think about decorating downstairs, I just need to get it under control. And right now it is not under control. So you'll see that in a little bit. Um, right now we're sort of in the middle of our homeschool morning. So the kids have done math devotionals, morning journals, and they're just on break right now. And uh, anyway, we're going to finish off our morning with our earth science unit, have lunch, and then we're going to head downstairs and do some major cleanup. Today, we're going to change focus and explore the world of weather and the atmosphere. From thunderstorms to typhoons, blizzards to tornadoes, we see the effects of the weather all around us. So I had mentioned in one of my previous videos how growing up my dad used to make these lunches for us and he called them fancy plates. And it's really just a whole mismatch of different food items on the same plate, but it's really fun for a kid. So this is what they're having today, a tuna sandwich fancy plate by their request and it's pretty much a staple in our home. And you'll see in a sec that the kids aren't the only ones who love tuna. You want some tuna? You want this? Sit. Good girl. You want that? She loves tuna, so we better lick the can. Wait. Ah, uh -uh. sit. Wait. Wah. Uh -uh. No. Wait. You're such a good girl. Okay. Okay, you can have it. Yep. Go ahead. You can have it, Angel. Yes, go. Good girl. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're starting with. <laughs> the kids, Very messy. Yeah, the kids use this room all the time, as you can tell, which is wonderful. Like, I'm not upset about that. But, you know, even with the best of efforts, sometimes this is what happens. So we are going to remedy that right now. I actually really enjoy dealing with big messes like this every now and then because it's so satisfying to see the end result. So anyway, we're going to do this together, right? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> we are. Like I already said, this toy room gets a lot of use. If you're ever wondering when you watch my videos where my kids are, they're either down here or they're outside. So I really don't mind that they make a mess, but obviously that can only last for so long. You gotta get on top of it. So, and I'm the type of person where I cannot even think about decorating or Christmas decorating or anything like that um, without a clean slate. It's just so important for my mental organization to know that the space is clean. So anyway, we tackled it today and I think we did a pretty good job. You're gonna see here in a couple minutes the end result 
And uh, yeah, if you have a big job at home that you need to tackle, just do it. I encourage you just start because the hardest part is starting. Once you get going on it, it feels so good to get something like that accomplished. If you haven't already, please click subscribe. There is going to be so much fun stuff coming up. We are huge Christmas people, and I have seven Christmas trees that I will be putting up in our home. So you're gonna wanna stick around and see all the fun stuff that is to come. Whoever has little boys at home can most definitely relate to this footage. Little boys have so much energy. Bennett is just non-stop, which I'm thankful for, don't get me wrong, but it really is amazing how much energy little boys can have. Now, coming up here in a second, you'll see Bennett arranging the pillows on the couch. He wanted to do it really special for me, so it's kind of out of shot here, you can't see it, but he gives me a high five right there. He was so proud of himself for doing that. Does anyone else find it super satisfying to vacuum a rug? There's just something about seeing those vacuum lines. I don't know, it is so satisfying. If that's you, leave a comment because I'm thinking that it can't just be me that finds this extremely enjoyable. This area here is our art station. The kids use it a lot, so we keep all of their craft supplies and their paints and things like that here. It gets pretty messy, but it's so nice having a separate area away from the rest of the house. And now I'm just doing some wiping down of the coffee table. I actually find this also to be very satisfying. My friends think I'm crazy because I find cleaning quite satisfying in general. But yeah, this art station here has honestly been one of the best things that we've done. Both kids are really crafty and it can be a big mess, but I don't want to discourage them from doing their crafts just because I don't want it all over the kitchen table. So this has been a great idea. We've really enjoyed it. We've had this TV stand for quite a while and the bottom part is an electric fireplace. And I just have to laugh at the kids because they're always wanting to turn it on because they say it makes the house feel like it's Christmas time. <laughs> and I'm just like, you know what? You guys are my kids if you're always wanting it to be Christmas. This corner here is where I'm actually going to put the Christmas tree that goes in the toy room. So I wanted to make sure everything got nice and clean. I do rearrange it a little bit when I put the tree up, but I, again, I just needed a nice clean slate. Okay, well, I think that we have gotten through the chunk of it. Obviously, it's a toy room. The kids are still gonna be in here playing, so it's not going to be 100% neat and clean the entire time. But I did do most of it. I'm gonna turn this around and show you. All right, so this is what we have. Um, we've gotten pretty much everything cleaned up. Obviously, like I said, it's a toy room. The kids are still doing stuff in here, which is totally fine. Anyway, um, what we do down here, we have our cube shelf area. This one here is up in Bennett's room right now, which is why it's missing. But we've gotten everything cleaned up and put away that's not currently in use. So it's much improved from before. This is his train. He wanted me to show you his train. This is Kenji. He's and very long. He's, he has four coaches. He, right. He's, and he, plus him, it's five. Bennett is extremely into trains. Yes. That's his big thing. Rebecca's been over here working on a craft this whole time. She's extremely creative and is always making new things. She, I have used a empty um, scotch tape like thingy container. Yeah. Right. And um, I have 
turned it into a Barbie stroller. And in here, like this, whatever way you want it to go. In. It's so creative. So it's a baby stroller made out of a scotch tape container, popsicle sticks, duct tape, and a dinky car. I feel very productive now that we've gotten that done. And now next week when I pull out the Christmas decorations, I'll be able to actually sort of think clearly about what I'm going to do down There's here. Because this is, this is, decorate. yeah, 10 more days till we decorate. And this is the area that gets the messiest. So I needed to get this under control before we started anything. So I think mission accomplished for today. <laughs> That's better. I got my kitchen cleaned up. I still have some dishes in the sink, but my dishwasher is full, so those will have to wait until a little bit later. I'm gonna start supper, and I think tonight I have some chicken thawed, so I think I'm gonna make a chicken casserole, mixed veggie casserole. Very simple. I am, I'm not usually somebody that cooks with a recipe all the time. I kind of wing it. This depends on what I have on hand. So I have chicken, I have mixed frozen veggies, I have some pasta. That's going to be what I'm doing. While I continue cooking, I just wanted to give you a little bit of encouragement. Whether you are a homemaker and homeschool mom like I am, or maybe you work full time and then you come home and take care of your family, I just want you to remember how important your work in your home is. I know that our culture doesn't always recognize it, but your family sees it, God sees it, and there is so much value in what you're doing each and every day. Oftentimes, when we do the same thing every single day, day in and day out, it does feel mundane and we can sometimes feel discouraged and wonder if there's any point to any of it. But trust me, there is a point. What you are doing is so crucial and you are providing love and stability and security in your home and that is not something that money can buy. So if you are feeling discouraged, please listen to my words. You are important. You are valued, you are loved, and we all have rough days, but the big picture is so much better than those rough days. The big picture is that you are making a difference in your home and in your family, and you are creating memories and cultivating relationships with your children. So please, you are loved, you are important, don't ever forget that. Like I said before, I don't usually use a recipe throughout the week. If I'm making a special dish, then yes, I will use a recipe for that. But when it comes to just the regular supper time cooking, I just kind of piece together things from what I have in my kitchen. But I know that some people are very different. Some people meal plan and they use specific recipes. I would love to know what you do. Leave a comment and let me know because we all do things differently and I think that we can learn from each other. So if you have a certain recipe or even a method that is your go-to, I would love to hear about it in the comments. That's it for today, friends. Thank you so much for being here. I am so glad I got that toy room done. That job was sort of looming over my head and I'm really glad that I've tackled it and it is done. So now that room is all set for Christmas decorating. I have to wait about 30 minutes for this to be finished in the oven. Once it's done, we'll have supper and uh, we'll just call it a night from there. But again, I really appreciate you being here with me. Click subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much, bye.